Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about one more easy problem from lead code. The problem name is binary cap. So you're given a positive integer n and you have to return the longest distance between two adjacent ones in the binary representation of n. Okay. And then if there is no adjacent ones, then you return zero because there is no adjacent ones. That's simple. And then you can take different examples. We'll talk about that. So what you'll understand from here is that you have to first take the number and then that number in binary representation whatever number it turns out to be you have to find out the maximum difference between two conjugative ones okay so let's take one small example so that it will become more clear to you so what you can understand is let's say just take this number let's say one zero zero one one zero zero one. this is a number i just have to tell the maximum difference between conjugative ones okay so let's move this out here let's say it's just zero one let us give these indexes. So this is the zeroth index, one index, two index. Three. You can just assume like this is a com com some sort of a string. We'll, we'll talk about more, but let's just assume that it's some sort of string. Then what you can directly do is that how you can check iterate over is that let's say you iterate over from uh, let's say from back to front, okay? And whenever the first one, so let's say that if let's say that this is again one more zero or let's say it is like this you move from the very back and the first character is zero we have to find a different like the distance between conjugative ones so you have to first towards the last occurrence of one okay what i mean by this is let's say last last index at which one you have seen okay so you, do, do you see one at this particular index no so we will see how we can check whether a bit is on or off so it's very simple you will just check that whether the last bit is on or off this is off so nothing else move to this index the la this bit is on or off this is this bit is on but we have not seen any more one before it that's why we can get the distance between them but there is no more one before it so we will store this particular one index that it is find out the six, six index let's say okay let's move ahead this is this is unset this is unset this is set bit when you find out the set bit let's say it is a third index then you just know that okay we have seen a one more one at the six index that's why this variable is there which will store the last occurrence of one so i have seen one at this particular index as well and the last index was this so six minus three is equal to let's say three so three is a difference between these two ones and you will store somewhere what's the maximum difference so let's say maximum is equal to three as of now okay now when you have seen one again for the next one this is the last occurrence of one so what you'll do is that you will change this to three why? Because first you have seen the last occurrence of 1 is this. Now when you again see 1, you will change this last occurrence of 1 to 3. So that when you go to this in the for loop that you are doing this for loop. When you go to this position, you will again see 1. And you have to find out the distance between 1 and the last occurrence of 1. The last occurrence of 1 now is at this position that is 3 index. And the current index is 2. So 3 minus 2 is equal to that the difference between distance between these two conjugative ones is 1. But the maximum is 3. That is why we have stored it till now. But now we have seen one, the last occurrence of one is at two now. So we will just change this at two. Now we will go to this position and again at this position. So we again see that this particular bit is set. So this is the position of one, like the index is zero and the last index is two. So two minus zero is equal to two, but the maximum is still three. So the answer is three. Got it? That's the overall idea for this particular problem. Let's move on to the code part so that it will become more clear to you. So this is last, which is initialized to minus one, which means that we have not seen any particular bit as of now. This is the answer which, is, which will show the maximum distance between them. Then we will iterate over every particular bit, okay, from 0 to 32 because they have maximum of 32 bits in the particular number that we have. And uh, uh, so let we have talked about indexes. This is the index, let's say, from 0 to the index, first index, second index. So they are maximum 32 uh, index or 32 bits in a particular number that we are talking about. Now to check whether a particular bit is set or not, we will take the current number and add it with one left shifted that particular number of times. Now that's a very standard way of checking whether a particular bit is on or off. Now what we are trying to do here is that we will take one and left shift it this number of time. Let's say one, we will shift it, let's say zero times, then one time. So what this actually means is that one left shift, let's say i times and i let's say zero. So which means that it is one is shifted zero times. So which is only one. Now one is shifted, let's say three times. So one shifted three times means one shifted three times and shifted means that you have added three zeros. Now, whatever number you have, let's say the number you have is, let's say this. And when you do an AND of this number, 
with this particular number if this particular bit is on like both of them are one then only this will become term, turns out to be one okay else if like if they are not uh, same then this is zero and all of them are also zero so all of them turns out to be zero and everything turns out to be zero okay so if everything turns out zero which means that this particular bit is not set but if let's say this is one left shifted one two three four five six six times so one left shifted six times will be like this number so this all of them will be zero but this value turns out to be one and thus this whole number will turns out to be some some positive number and thus if this particular value gives out some positive number which means that that particular bit is set that ith bit is set so this will tell it whether the ith bit is set so and n and with one left shifted i times will give you that whether the ith bit is set if the ith bit is set then it means that we know that the current ith bit is set so if this this actually give me the index at which the particular bit is set okay so if the last is equal to minus n which means that we have not seen any like previous bits that was set so i will just change my last to i and if i again now see any bit that is set I will just maximize my answer with the distance between them, which is the current i that we have seen the current bit that is set and the last bit that is set. So i minus last that we have seen the difference between them. Okay, that is the distance distance between the two consecutive bits. And then we have to also update my last equal to i, which I have told you that we are also updating my last equal to the current i that is the current set bit. So we are only doing this when this particular value is set because we are only talking about the bits that are set. Okay, and then when we have the maximum value, the maximum value is zero. That is why it's a very uh, simple problem. We are doing a for loop, but it's a very like only zero from thirty two, so it's a constant uh, time operation only because it is not depending upon n and it's a like constant time, so it is a constant time uh, problem. So that's the overall logic and the code part for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention down in the comment box of this particular problem. Thank you for watching video till the end. I will see you in the next one. Like coding and bye.